Okay, this is a uh, short little video on how to approach number two on 1.8b. And the difference between this problem and transformations we've done in the past is the fact that notice, before <laughs> I move this side to side and get you all seasick looking at this, um, notice that normally I give you the function and I ask, I give you just here's f of x. And then I would ask you in this case, I would say draw f of one half x plus three, given that this is f of x. Well, instead we're starting with the transformed graph and I want you to graph the original function. So in order to think about how to do that, I want to ask myself, okay, what did I do to get from my normal function? Again, I don't know what that looks like right now because that's what I'm trying to find. But what steps would I have had to take if I had the normal function and did this and graph this transformed function? And remember, like um, we've talked about in previous examples, when you're dealing with domain transfer transformations, you're always thinking about um, really doing things in reverse order or, or reverse order of operations. So in this case, I find it always helpful to put the domain transformation in between the extremes of the domain because that tells me, okay, where does my low point negative nine go based on this transformation? And where does my seven go, which is my high point, original high point based on this transformation? So <laughs> to get to X here, I would subtract three, which means the first thing I'm doing, if I, again, if I had the original graph and wanted to go to the transformed graph, I would shift left three. And then the second step would be stretch horizontally by a factor of two. So multiplying each X point by a factor of two or multiplying by two, in other words, stretch horizontally by a factor of two. And again, just multiplying each X value by two. So that's what I would have done to get from the original function to the transformed. But remember, I've given you the transformed graph. So now to go backwards, we're going to undo what we did. So to go from f of 1 half x plus 3 back to f of x, I have to undo what I just did. And one, well, what does that mean? That means, okay, I'm going to start at the last thing I did and do the opposite. So if the last thing I did was stretch horizontally by a factor of 2, that means the first thing I'll do to go back to the original graph is... Um, instead of stretch horizontally by a factor of two, I'm going to shrink by a factor of two. Or in other words, shrink by a factor of two, which means half each x value. So you're dividing each x value by two. You're squishing it horizontally. Half each x value. Okay. Uh, and then the opposite of shifting left three is shift right three. So interestingly enough, notice what we're doing when we're going from the transform back to the original. We're actually following the order of operations here. Normally with domain changes, when we're starting with a original function and going to transformed, we're doing the opposite of order of operations. But now to undo the opposite of order operations, I do the order of operations. Um, but for me, it just always helps to think about this, to think about, okay, to get this graph, here's the steps I did. Let me undo those steps. So now going point by point, maybe I'll use green here. So if, um, so I was, and again, I'm going from, I'm doing this here. I'm going from the transform back to the original. So I'm going to have each X value and shift right three or add three. So half of seven is three and a half, and then I'm gonna add three. So I'll be at six and a half there. And remember the Y values aren't changing here because there's, no, um, <laughs> there's no range effector. All right, so half of two, and now I'm gonna do this point here. Half of two is one, and then right three will be at four. So this one will be up here. Half of zero is zero, right three is three. So looking like that. 
half of negative three, I'm at this point here, is negative 1.5, and then shifting to the right three is, let me think about here, negative 0.5, uh, 1.5. <laughs> Took me a minute. Um, so, so we're up, up here. here. And then, and this, then last this last point, point half, half of negative nine, nine in ne is negative, negative four and a half. half. And, then and then right, right three, three is negative, negative one, one and a half. half. So, so I'm, I'm there. there. So, so it, it should, should if I've, I've done, done this correctly here, should take on this, this look. look. And that's, and that's right here. Right. Again. Again. Divided each x point by two, which horizontally shrinking it by a factor of two, and then shifting it right three. And then and the last thing I'll say here is I'm noticing that I did not draw this at 1.5. So maybe I meant to. It looks more like it's right on one, but let me just move that a little bit here. So to make it so that it's actually at 1.5, as I stated. There we go. Sorry, that looked a little bit off to me. Um, okay, so that should do it. All right, thanks guys.